Here we're going to take a look at including uh, pictures and images in our uh, document. So um, first things first, we need an image. So I'm currently using uh, Overleaf. This is a cloud-based service. Um, and what we can see here on the left are, are the files in this particular project. Um, I have a, a picture on my on my computer, but this is locally on my computer. So to get this picture on my document uh, on Overleaf, I need to upload it to Overleaf. Now, if I was using a, a LaTeX compiler or a LaTeX engine locally I, on my computer, I would not have to do this. So I'm going to click on Upload, um, and I'm just going to select from my computer. And now you see there's two files, there's the main.tech and there's this, this image. So to include it in the document, I go use package. And then the particular package we need for this is a package called graphfix. Okay? Um, and then we can just include the, doc the, the picture. So I'm going to use something new, which is called a center environment. And we could use this for tables, for text, and this just helps make things a bit more clearer. And then we go include graphics, and we just go dog.jpg. And that's just the name of this file. And again, if I was uh, using this computer, uh, doing, uh, doing this locally on my computer, all I would include here is the entire path to where the file was. Um, the particular LaTeX en engine uh, that Overleaf is set to use uh, by default um, can compile JPEG, and most modern compilers can, can can handle JPEGs and PDFs and PNGs and things like that. So if I compile that, and we see actually that the image doesn't really fit. Okay, it's gone to the second page, and it's, you can't really see much of it. So um, what I can do here is include an option. And so I'm gonna say, I want the width of this document to be 60% um, of the text width. I could also use uh, an absolute value, so I could say three centimeters or something like that. Now if we compile, we see that uh, the image is um, 